going on y'all welcome back to jay larone presents where we talk about the facts foolishness and sometimes a little black female fuckery today's video we're looking at um looks like there's a, a pastor who was married but also was um you know doing some little you know little gay stuff on the side right so apparently his 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 boyfriend um comes on the facebook live to make a confession right and it, it stems down to where the pastor who was married, um, I, apparently his wife found out that he was sleeping with another man in the in the congregation in the church, and somehow I believe the pastor deleted her, but the boyfriend is saying that he deleted her because of money, not because she found out they were sleeping together. He's saying that the woman knew that they were sleeping together, but. You know, speculation is the pastor deleted her because she found out they were sleeping together. So let's go ahead and listen to this, man. This is some crazy mess. All right. If you haven't, go ahead, hit the like button, subscribe, share. It helps the channel grow. All right. And before we get into the video, acknowledge me. Thing. All right, you guys, let's go ahead and get into it. Fair use, fair use. thought I was doing the right thing because I was inappropriate with Robert. I did have, so I thought I want justice for Tanisha just as well because nobody can understand the way I feel. This is the story of Tanisha Harris, aged 38, a beloved minister at Members of Repairers Kansas City Church in Missouri who was killed by someone close to her after she found out that her husband who was an elder in their church was sleeping with different men in their church after Sunday services. After her death, one member of the church who had been sleeping with her husband had the courage to go live on Facebook to explain how Tanisha's husband had an affair with him for over a year while he was married and also how he had been sleeping with multiple other men who are members of their church. I'm so sick of mother hiding and hiding the buying shit. I was honest. All these other taking pictures with them the same also taking his big black and ain't none of them forward. Ain't none of them being honest honest because I want justice for this woman. The full confession of the man sleeping with Tanisha's husband will be played later in the video. Hello and welcome to Twisted Crimes. Subscribe and hit the like button for more stories. This story will be taking us to Overland Park, Kansas. Overland Park is a city in the U.S. state of Kansas. It's generally an upper middle class area with low crime. Tanisha Harris, aged 38, was an easygoing lady who dedicated much of her life to the works of God. Tanisha was so easygoing, she was loved by everyone around her for her simple life. Tanisha was an associate pastor at Repairers Kansas City, a charismatic non-denominational church in Missouri. What is your good news? Tanisha met a man by the name of Robert Lee Harris age 30 and they got along in the church. Robert was an elder in the church.
He posted on social media how he carry out the Lord's work. Good morning, everybody. Um, I am coming on. I've been impressed this morning to uh, pray for healing. Uh, so uh, as a part of my ministry, um, healing is one of the things that God has called me to. And so I just want to spend just a few minutes with you uh, in prayer concerning healing. Um, I'm on my way to work, but... Um, <laughs> I hate to say it, man, but these these dudes look fruity. I mean, they look it, they sound it. I mean, when they were showing them in the church, when they was um, I guess whatever the fuck they was doing, uh <laughs> those dudes look fruity, man. They look in the pictures, they look fruity, they look soft. I'm like, God, and then you hear them talking, yeah, it's is there. Is there. I'm definitely going to pray today, so come on in the Robert ended up proposing to Tanisha and they got married. People were very happy for them. For their secular jobs, Tanisha worked at a bank and Robert Harris, who is an army veteran, worked at a hospital. Hello everybody. I am in Jordan hey. Creek Mall Hello. with my honey. They each had a Army veteran. Boy, I tell you, that's I guarantee you, yeah. He bought this, he bought that age, only veteran. So that means he came in under Obama's don't ask. No, they got rid of the don't ask, don't tell. So uh, he came in under the Obama's, uh, you know, everybody's welcome. You know, that's that's crazy. Everybody's welcome. You know, you can you can you can ask and you can tell now, but you know, he came in under that when Obama said, you know, it was, it was cool to be openly gay in the military daughter from previous marriages and Tanisha's daughter lived with the couple. Things were going well for them in church, but not at home as people thought. We're out here on this video. Our cool game, our play, our Woo! Good evening, Facebook family. We are out here on Operation July 9th. Uh, here is Honey, Tanisha. She is, uh, we've been running. Right now, we're just doing a light walk, but we're getting ready to run like again. Him. He almost killed me, y'all. It's okay. No one was hurt in the making of this video. <laughs> it's going to be okay. We're going to make it through it. Y'all pray for me. After just 18 months of marriage, things started to fall apart. Tanisha could not understand what was wrong with Robert initially, but later got a hint that Robert was having an affair with someone in their church. It further showed shocked her when she realized it was a man. She could not believe that her husband was having an affair with a man so she decided to go public with the information but unfortunately before she could do that she vanished. On January 8, 2018, a neighbor heard loud noise coming from Tanisha and Robert's apartment so he called the police. Upon arrival, they questioned Robert but left, then they came back minutes later to arrest him after they discovered Robert Harris had an outstanding warrant from Prairie Village but he was long gone. He had fled to his lover's apartment. Later in the day, police discovered blood in the couple's apartment and then arrested Robert. Robert Harris was arrested and taken to the police station that night, and later admitted to having a role in his wife's disappearance. Robert Harris was subsequently charged on January 10 with premeditated first-degree murder. Surety, no alcohol, no drugs, no firearms, no contact witnesses on that complaint, 
house arrest with a GPS unit. You understand that? Yes, Your Honor. Thanks, sir. Police were able to uncover how Robert had gone to Walmart multiple times to buy cleaning supplies and trash bags and also a filleting knife. Later the neighbor saw Robert struggling with a heavy trash bin, thumping down one step at a time before getting it out to an SUV in the parking lot. After interviewing Robert, detectives went to a field at East 163rd Street and continued. Damn, so he cut, I didn't know this, damn, he cut her up and buried her. I didn't know that. Wow. Kentucky Road in Raymore, Missouri, in the early hours of January 9th where they found Tanisha Harris's body in a black plastic bag. A preliminary autopsy showed that Tanisha Harris died on January 8th from strangulation by someone's hands. At Robert's hearing, he decided to enter a plea of not guilty. The story turned to its head when... Okay, my bad, he did Well, they said a knife, so I thought he had cut her up. <laughs> So, but he did, but he killed her and, and put in a bag and then buried her. One person named Stephen Jr. decided to tell people why Robert actually killed Tanisha. Stephen in a video posted on Facebook Live, claimed he only testified in court because he wanted Tanisha to get justice and also not shy to say he was having an affair with Robert. He also claimed multiple people in the church were also having an affair with him. I'm back and sitting at the bed. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna be chill. I just want, I just want this nigga because nobody know he can't fuck me. He know he don't want to catch these hands. You talking all tough under somebody that is pull up. I don't need you to pull up. I'm gonna have my nephew bring me to your house. I'm gonna have my nephew court. I'm gonna you because you already know you can't fuck me. What's up? I thought I was doing the right thing because I was inappropriate with Robert. I did have, so I thought I want justice for Tanisha just as well because nobody can understand the way I feel. Because I'm thinking, before any report came out, I'm thinking this is my fault. So I done lost my house, I done lost my job, I done lost my car. So let me make this very clear. Any for me, nigga, hands catching. Ain't I ain't fighting. I will swear to y'all, man. I did, I did her a fucking favor. I testified, stand being honest, so I could get justice, and you don't come for me. I did her mother justice. All these other that he was and came out and said a mother thing. I'm feeling bad because I feel like this woman need justice for her death and you mother don't come for me and I didn't mother testify. I want to pull up and don't pull up tomorrow. Nobody understand what I'm going through. This woman should not have lost her mother life and you bitch for me and I'm the one who was honest who came for it and mother testified. I want to come for me. I did what no other he could do. I was honest and I told the mother truth and you don't come for me y'all got me up i'm waiting i'm sitting right here what's up and i want every mother body who want justice for this woman to fuck y'all the white i'm talking to you talking all you know you can't me you know you can't beat my ass you the same nigga that was trying to take my mother jenny when i was 18 years old what's up what's up just, just you talking all that my inbox what's up nigga i'm gonna comment on here so everybody can see what the i'm talking about i'm so sick of mother hiding and hiding behind shit it's honest all these other you taking pictures with them the same nigga also taking his big black and ain't none of them niggas forward ain't none of them being honest be honest because i want justice for this woman and you mother gonna come for me when i was honest you better get the out of here now i don't have no it's war what's up everybody who really want justice for this woman to share this mother video so everybody can see ain't you? i ain't got i'm a cute nigga with a dick and a fat ass i ain't gotta hide a motherfucking thing Everybody know my life. Everybody know my sexuality. Pull up. This woman didn't even talk to you. I asked her on her mother birthday, was anybody outside of the church gonna be there? You know, she told me I don't deal with nobody outside of the church. So all these trying to play like they her friend. And oh my God, they was really connected to her. She, won, she didn't talk to none of you mother. Now tell me, I got the receipts in my mother phone. Because it's in text message. Like you trying to act like you so hurt and you bit her mother friend and you bit her life all these mother you didn't deal with no body outside of the mother church. So why you trying to play like you so distraught? Get the fuck out of here. Everybody knew what Robert was doing. Because so much shit had came out before she married him. She already knew what this was doing. Pull the... F I just... I just... I just want somebody to pull up on me. That's all I want. Everybody shared this video. I want some mother...
somebody to pull up on me. I did this woman justice because I testify. He pleaded. He he um he waived the preliminary hearing. That the prosecutor told me why y'all listened to one post and told me he didn't kill her because of his mother sexuality. He killed her for money. So why you mother to somebody who did posted one mother status and everybody want to act like they so deep and oh my god why you got discernment and why did that know that man was gonna shoot him in his mother head where your discernment at if you knew that man was gonna shoot you in your head why the and you did not pick him up why y'all trying to act like oh you so deep and you got all the answers somebody come on come on talk to me talk to me talk to me talk to me and everybody who was in that church ought to thank me because i didn't put nobody else's name out there nobody i, I took the mother Hit because I don't lie about my sexuality. So everybody in that mother that was ought to thank me. Every mother body ought to thank me. I ate all them other who was said shit up there shouting and taking pictures and posting videos. And you mad at me because I came forth because I felt some kind of way and I was truthful. And you don't come for me. Are you serious? Get the fuck out of here. Get the out of here. I want y'all to share and post this mother video like there's no tomorrow. Stop. And I got receipts all through my mother because I had the mother. And password to Robert's mother phone, bitch. I know who he was being inappropriate with. I know who he was talking to. I know who because Tanisha confided in me about who she dealt with and who she didn't. So, what's up? Everybody got something to say, but you don't want to know the mother truth. Here it is. Everybody want justice, and everybody got the spirit, and everybody want to be holy, and everybody got so much to say. This is what it is. So yes, sir. So what's going on, man? What's going on? So I thought I was doing the right thing. Okay. okay? I testified. Okay. Thinking I was doing the right thing to get this woman justice okay. and this black women have no disrespect. This, this nigga doing all this damn yelling outside and the police out there. The fuck. Oh, all right. Let's keep moving. I want you to hear me. No, you're fine. Ungrateful black people. Ungrateful black people. Hey, I, I'm, I'm getting. I'm you. sorry. Um, 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 are so ungrateful. Okay. I'm getting this woman justice, and they coming for me. I, I want justice for this woman, just like the next, just like her mama do, just like her daddy do, just like her sisters do. And I testify. I'm the. Do this dude sound like a drama queen? I mean, you hear people in the background telling him to shut up. <laughs> All right, let's keep moving. I'm sorry. I just had to stop and end it. Man, yeah. It's stupid. Let's Only go. one that came out and was honest about what was going on. And, and then people are coming for coming for me yeah. when I'm trying to get justice too. They got me they got me all twisted in the game. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm done. I'm listening to well, you. I'm sorry. Problem. You can't just be threatening people. Are you on Facebook Live? He ain't th he threatened me. He told me how can I be so stupid in my inbox? I was just waiting for somebody to reach out to me. I was just waiting for somebody to say something to me. Okay. So all right. I, hopefully this is the last time I stop it. But how is he threatening you by telling, asking you, how can you be so stupid? How is that a threat? See, that's what I'm saying. A lot of people, they just. You can't say nothing to them. Anything you say to them, they consider it a threat. All he asked was, how could you be so stupid? How is that a threat? God damn it. I was waiting because I knew it was coming. I'm the only one who was honest. My sexuality ain't no secret. It ain't no, it ain't no thing where I'm hiding it. I like what I want. I do what I want to do. It's not me you should be coming for. It's all them other people sleeping with that ain't said nothing that's hiding behind church and behind behind ministry and hiding behind cloths. Get the off my inbox. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm so, done. So they're mad at you for... For <laughs> testifying. Testifying against what? This man killed his wife. Why okay. is he so turned So up? they say. It ain't even know. proof that he did it. I mean, the evidence show, but nobody, I mean, yeah. So they're mad at you for testifying against Testifying. The I'm trying to get justice for this woman and want to come for me because I think I'm doing the right thing. No, ain't no calm down. Jump in my inbox talking stupid to me. Don't don't come don't come talk to me. Don't come talk to me. Don't come Okay, so, so somebody, you want someone to come down here so you can kill him? No, I don't want to kill him. I just want to beat his mother ass. Okay, well, I mean, you can't. <laughs> I just want to beat his mother ass. And he know he can't hang with me, so I already know he ain't going to tell. He talking about pull up. Nigga, I'm drunk, no so control. I can't drive him. My nephew ain't going to drive me down here. No control The white Lewis. He doing all this talking on Facebook. He going to jump in my, I don't give a f what people say on Facebook. Don't come talking crazy to me. Yeah. Personally, so Dwight Lewis was mad that you testified. I, I don't know if he was. I don't know. I mean, from and that's the thing. So they saying that he killed her because of his sexuality. When the prosecutor called me and said he killed her because of money, it wasn't because of it. She already knew this man like me. 
because they think they're thinking because they're listening to one. By there you mean Dwight? Du not just Dwight. Every oh, uh, other people. Dwight. They thinking he killed him. This woman because his sexuality. This woman knew this man was a homosexual. True. This woman knew this man was a homosexual. So now they coming for me because they feel like I think I got something to hide. Why Any? No. No. He just, he just, he ain't even friends with nobody. He ain't he talked to this house, woman. Wrong, I'm, go, I'm going, I'm going in the house. Hey, hold on, hold on. We're, well, I'm he said to have him go in the house. That's why. You want to go in the house? Yes, I want to go in the house. We can go in the house. Yeah, okay. I, I, we can go in the house. Cause that, so I'm good. I'm going to sit in my sister's kitchen on this table, on this, at this table, and I'm going to be cool. I promise on you. Nephew. My nephew's back there. I'm yeah. Talk to yeah, talk to him. I'm gonna set the table. I'm good. What now, what's up? What's up? So what's up? You know there was, there was kind of a scene out there. It was people. a scene because I'm mad. I, I'm I mad. Because I'm thinking I'm doing the right thing. Yeah, no, right I'm mad. testifying yeah. to get this woman yeah. justice, and people are coming for me when they don't even know the truth. He didn't kill her because of his sexuality. You dumb bitches. He killed her, they said, because of money. So why y'all coming for me? Check your stacks. Check your record. Check Google. Check the Johnson County detention. Who is they? They said it was over money, but who is they? I mean, where's the receipts? Everybody won't talk about receipts, but he just talking about they, they. Um, where's the receipts that it was all about money? Uh, did the guy get a insurance claim? Center, so you would know the truth. After three years, a juror finally convicted Robert in the killing of his wife. Sweet. He was convicted of first-degree murder in the 2018 strangling of Tanisha Harris, age 38. He was sentenced to 50 years in prison without the possibility of parole. Repairers KC Pastor Carlton Funderburg previously recalled how the two met. Team. So they're very involved, very engaged, very active in the community of church. These were not uh, regular attenders or regular parishioners. These were, they're, they're part of the backbone of what we do as a ministry. Shocking. Absolutely. It's very shocking, very disheartening. I think uh, I've cried uh, all that I can at this present time. I am uh, sure to cry some more today. Uh, but it has been an emotional roller coaster to, to say the least. And our hearts go out to uh, Tanisha's family. We've been in contact with some of them. Our hearts go out to Robert's family. We've been in contact with some of them. And we're just trying to pray and navigate through these next uh, days, hours, and weeks. Tanisha is, was, was just one of those go-getters. Uh, she's, she, she's the type of person that I wish everybody could have one of. Uh, anybody who's in any managerial or, or leadership position because she made sure whatever was assigned to her got done. Anyone who encountered her would often joke and say, can you please send her to train our people? That's just the kind of person that she was. Amazing and she is utterly irreplaceable. I don't know what we're going to do, but the Lord will see us through. Uh, he came to visit a couple of times and upon visiting, he met Tanisha. He proposed to her in uh, September of 2015. Uh, they were married in uh, July of 2016. I saw them was Sunday. And so they went home. Uh, I actually went to another service. And uh, that was the last time that I saw them. It's sad a man who did the Lord's work decided to kill his wife just after 18 months of marriage because she caught him sleeping with members of the church. He didn't have to kill that woman who had a nine-year-old daughter to take care of. He never knew the truth would eventually come out and it did. If he wanted to be gay, he could have been gay without bothering Tanisha. Stephen claims Tanisha knew about him being gay but no one could verify that. We hope her soul continues to rest in peace and we do wish he young daughter the best in life. Our sincere condolences to the friends and families of Tanisha Harris. May Tanisha's memory be a blessing for her family and for all who knew her, and may her life and death be an inspiration and a turning point towards justice and increased protection for domestic abuse survivors. Please stay safe out there and see you guys in the next video. Alright, yeah, that was it, man, but no, but you know, like I said, I don't believe that, like I said, it's hard there's no proof that he did it for money. So, like I said, no, I guess the only thing to go on is that he did it because she found out they were sleeping together. Who knows, man? But <laughs> it ain't fun. It, her death is tragic. And it's just the only thing I'm laughing about is all these gay motherfuckers up in the church. It's that that's what kills me. You hear about it so much, you know, it's just every time you turn around, it's it's always something going on up in the church. Somebody sleeping with somebody, guys sleeping with guys, guys with with 
with minors is it's, it's crazy man and like and people who either don't know or even if they do know they put themselves in the situations that will harm them right so even if she did know about this dude being gay the stuff that he does you see what it did to her right and like i said it's not like i said it's a shame that she had to go through that hopefully hopefully she didn't know you know what i'm saying hopefully she didn't know but like i said if she did know it's 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 it's, it's crazy like i said it's crazy nobody should lose their life over somebody else's sexuality you know what i'm saying that's what i'm trying to say that never should happen right so but yeah like i said only robert knows i mean i don't know if robert said i don't know if the guy her husband said that he did it because she found out he was gay or if it was like i said another guy saying it's because of money but you know of course i'm pretty sure they did some investigation if it was money they would have saw a life insurance policy that was never mentioned so you know right now is it, you is it's got to be because she found out he was doing some other dude but like i said man these these churches just gotta watch yourself man you gotta be careful you gotta be careful who you're dating you gotta be careful of of who you who you who you're with now man because they're their past, their history, or the stuff that they're doing now can easily catch up to you, you know, and you're just an innocent person. You know, she thought she loved this guy, thought that he was, you know, being honest with her, and he wound up taking her life. So it's it's it's, it's crazy. And like I said, uh, condolences to her family and all that. Um, like I said, I hate hearing about people losing their life because especially because of what somebody else right you know you, you you're innocent but because you're dealing with this person now your life is gone so yeah that's crazy but you guys drop some comments down below let me know what you think all right it's your boy jay Ron with jay Ron presents you guys please be good to yourselves by all means let's be good to one another and i will catch you guys in the next one. peace I've been drinking, I've been drinking